in this video, I'm gonna be recreating the game X to 8 inside of Scratch. It is categorized as a horror game and a really hard one, so let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and by the way, I have a list because I got this thing in my mouth called Expander. It is for braces. It sucks, but yeah, I, I gotta upload. My bad. So, where do I even begin? I think I have an idea. I'm gonna load this platform starter thingy I had. It just like gives me like the things I need for like this. Yep, cool. Right. I got it from Gross Patch, by the way, if you want it. Okay, cool. Now, the game is gonna be modeled after X8. It's some like puzzle horror game thing in my bobber. And so, uh, basically, you're gonna go into a room and the room's gonna change, or maybe it won't. And gotta kind of guess if it there then Seems pretty fun, right? Right? So how am I gonna make this? Let's find that out real quick. I'm gonna go into air sprite and let it do for me. So let's get it drawn. All right, so this is what I got so far. I got uh, a couple posters, a uh, vent, door, alarm thingy, post. Wait, what is that? A uh, sign and light. Here's what the ground's looking like. I think I'm gonna keep it for now though, but let's go load them up in Scratch. All right, now that we're in Scratch, uh, this is gonna take quite a while. So we got them all loaded in here. Looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. But uh, you know, we gotta replace the ground with the actual ground. So I'm gonna go like, boop, copy, boop, paste, get rid of this crap, and put you at the bottom. Actually, no, I guess we can keep you in the middle. Put you like negative 100, put you a size like 200. It, negative 150, negative 160, and this is like basically what the game's gonna look like. You're gonna have to go look for the anomalies, and then if there's an anomaly, you go back. If there's not, you go forward. Pretty cool game, but we gotta rig it all up first. Let me go make the first room, and I'll be back when I finish. Okay, so this is what we have it looking like so far. Door, clock, alarm, other alarm, a bunch of lights, sign, vents, posters, another door, and some more posters. I might add a little more, but right now I think it looks okay. And yeah, there's a mess in here. I'm not using clones because I'm kind of stupid. And I also sound stupid right now, and I really hate my list. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna name the project not exit 8. That sounds right. I'm gonna make this guy spawn right there. Nope, not there. Negative 2 on it. See, now he spawns over here, and if something changes then uh, that's not gonna be good for you pal but i think it's about time we give my little boy a little bit of a reskin because he's not looking good my guy is literally purple what the heck so let's get right on that so i was trying to draw this guy uh, i could go like uh feet, feet, boom 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 and this guy looking fresh <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i'll come back when i have him finished Okay, so I think I have it done, but please do not make fun of me. This is the best I can do. All right. Okay. Okay. Let him cook now. Let him cook. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just, like, see how that looks in Scratch. Oh, I got him in Scratch. Now, all I have to do is make him follow the hitbox. So, one group, if I click, broadcast, new message, player dash skin. When I receive player dash skin, I'll just put that in the forever loop. Go to hitbox. Now, if I put this only in there, it would have, like, a little bit of a delay. So, that's why the broadcast thingy just, I don't know, it makes it better. So, as we can see, follows him perfectly, which is cool. But then if I like replace it like this, there's like a little bit of delay. You can see a little bit. It doesn't really matter that much, but like just so the hitbox have like a constant thing. But this Loki looking ugly as hell, so I gotta like put this guy up a little bit. Okay, that looks like it worked. Then we gotta do this one. Okay, this looks good, especially on there. So now on the count of three, code is gonna magically appear here. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. Now, this is just gonna switch between the costumes. It's pretty easy. Nothing like I have to explain, I don't think, because I don't even understand it myself. All I know I gotta do is go one group, fly, click, forever, change costume by like a number. I'm gonna go with one. Now, for simplicity, I'm gonna put all this out, put this in here, start at one, go all the way four. And you can see that our man is fast as frick boy. So I think I gotta turn him down a little bit, like 0 0.25, 0 0.5. Now he's fast. But also, I gotta hide this guy, so I'm gonna put set, go, two on it. So now we can't see and we can only see this guy. But now we're gonna make a idle animation. That's basically where it just doesn't do anything. I'm gonna do that. Throw all the way to those guys. And this guy can rest. Something like this looks pretty normal, I think. And then so I think I'm just gonna bob his arms and stuff up and down. So we'll go next frame, drag all that down. And so we're just gonna go like this. Except I might move his foot here. Like so. It is really fast, but it's not gonna be that fast. So let's also one, two, idle here. I'm up like that. So now this is where we put in the code. If I'm not gonna do anything, it's gonna start at five which five is right here and then it's gonna repeat two times one time so it's gonna go here and here and then there and here and then there and then there and then there and then there and if i press d or the right arrow key it's gonna cycle through this so it's gonna start at one and then go one two three one three wow that's cool i think i have to do two though i think i have to do four also i go boom 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 i'm gonna change the resistance by like like 0.7 as long as this guy is so cute i actually love this animation i don't know why but now i gotta reverse it so i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna do player one l1 
one for left one and literally flip it like that copy that one right here l2 or flip three flip l3 copy flip l4 so it starts at five and we have to go around four times or i guess three five starting on four okay so for the we gotta change the idle from nine and then okay so nine got this guy vibing Ooh, man it looks cool this way is really janky i don't know what's wrong hold on move him like that move him like that i think that should have fixed it boom 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 my guy is running for his life and then we go boom 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 he's running for his life and then we have him just chilling like that and also i'm gonna make this so i'm gonna put that there put that there and then put this at like 0 0.1 it's because like when i do this it's gonna be slower but when i go like this it's gonna be a lot faster this just looks really weird it's like really fast I'm also gonna jump up and down yippee i don't know i'm gonna tweak this settings throughout the video probably my guy looks like he's going this just for like whatever so now we can begin the fun part the coding Woo! Oh my god, after an incredibly long time, I finally finished the game. You will not believe how long this took me. This took me easy. But at least we finally finished it, though. I added plenty of more things you could have ever thought of, and believe me, it's insane. By the way, if you want to play this game, link in the description. Please, please, please subscribe and like. It means a lot. Now let me show you the game. But before I do that, let me explain how you play the game. We start the game on level zero. We have the entire room here. And if you've ever seen the game X and eight, it's exactly like that. You can't go back at the start, but you want to go to the other end of the room to begin. So you want to analyze this room real quick see everything that's in there and i'm gonna run across like this and something could be different or something could not be different for example this poster could disappear that vent could disappear this could move oh god or that guy could run at me basically that or that vent could bleed you want to go back to the left over there so you see something different but if you don't see anything different you want to go to the right and you want to do that until you get to level 100 and then you can finally escape seems simple enough right well you can try it out for yourself now if you want to learn programming yourself you say today's sponsor brilliant brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons of math data analysis programming and ai each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concept a method proven to be six times more effective than watching lecture videos brilliant helps build your critical thinking skills through problem solving not memorizing which is perfect if you have a terrible memory like me Berlin helps you build real knowledge by only using it 15 minutes a day my personal favorite is CSM programming because coding has always been a dream to me and starting up trying to learn everything at once maybe quit many times but thanks to Berlin it helps me learn step by step to finish the problem at hand you'll also get familiar with Python and start building programs on day one with a built-in drag and drop editor develop your mind to think like a programmer building a strong foundation and writing robust programs to try everything Berlin has to offer for free for a full 30 days visit brilliant.org slash zong scratch or click on the link in the description you'll also get 20 percent off an annual premium subscription thanks again to brilliant for sponsoring this video now enjoy the gameplay